Dear pupils, uh, hello again. I'm here because you asked me to give you uh, the different topics uh, to be dealt with in module one. In uh, module one, ninth form for family life, the topics uh, can vary according to uh, the titles of the lesson. So we start the first one is uh, you write a short letter to your pen friend, Mary, to talk about your family, introduce your family, speak about the relationship with your parents, speak about a little problem you might have with your parents, pocket money, clothes, school, uh, hobbies, or uh, friends. So the first paragraph here, it's a letter. And then in the ninth grade, you learn to write how to write a letter. There are two types of letters. It's either a letter to talk about something or, or a letter of reply to a complaint or a letter of complaint. In this letter here, we have uh, we, to mention uh, the family members. So uh, we are belong to uh, an extended family or to a nuclear family or to a small family. In the beginning, we say uh, my family is composed of or... Uh, uh, okay, so then you start by the first part, which is the relationship between uh, some of your family members. So harmonious, in harmony. We see eye to eye. My parents see eye to eye. Thanks to the wonderful union between parents. Now I'm an easygoing teenager. My mom is caring. She's supportive. I can lean on her uh, for support and wisdom. I can rely on her. She's always there when I uh, have a, a problem. I turn to her when I am in trouble. She is loving. As we all know that uh, in any family we can have some uh, problems and then uh, the negative aspects of a problem can be uh, ha using also by uh, introducing the contrastive word. However, sometimes uh, there is a competition between family uh, f brothers and sisters. My feel competitive with my sister or my brother. My father is sometimes very severe. My older brother wants to control my life, the way I dress, the friends I hang out uh, with. So we use, uh, uh, however, we uh, uh, to talk about uh, the different uh, negative aspects of family life. We move to the lesson number two, which is doing household chores. Topic is write a paragraph to talk about the benefits of getting children involved in household chores. We say household chores, house tasks. Uh, they are, uh, we also topic, uh, we talk about uh, uh, the idea of uh, helping with housework. So it's a, despite all the changes, many people still believe that housework is nothing but a woman's job. Do you agree with this opinion? Why or why not? So it's an article here given an argumentative writing to give about the opinion of others who think that uh, women are naturally born uh, to be good at doing household chores, whereas men, they are working outside, they are the breadwinners, they are not supposed to do further activities when they go back home which is a very old idea when you, women used to stay at home to be housewives and men used to be breadwinners. But today things have changed. So you have going to mention your idea about the changes, the social changes that make women work outside and at home, which is a duty of every member of the family to pitch in and help with the uh, home tasks. Even the, the youngest member of the family should uh, uh, take part and then it will have lots of... Uh, it can teach them many things because uh, here you're going to uh, write a paragraph where you express your opinion about sharing housework using the arguments to support it. You're going to talk about the benefits of uh, sharing a housework, which is going to work to the advantage of the whole family. And uh, we can mention that also have letters of complaint, as I told you earlier. Your friend writes you a letter complaint about helping with housework. It can be your friend uh, complaining about helping with housework. It can be a, wo a woman has a, a wife, a housewife or a woman who's uh, complaining about uh, uh, the burden of house uh, tasks. So housework or house tasks uh, should be distributed fairly and each member of the family should be assigned a task even the youngest child. So it can be given menial job like clearing the table or setting the table. Children also can play their part in family chores. Uh, another idea is that roles can be rotated to avoid the chores from being monotonous, overbearing and boring. These tasks are really demanding and overbearing. So one member can do uh, the washing up and one day uh, 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 one day and another member will do it another day. So men and women can switch and share duties and this can surely open better communication 
for the family as we know that uh, here helping it can work to the advantage of the whole family when household chores are evenly shared it gives family members more time to spend with one another it may make them more tolerant of each other uh, many hands make light work uh, and uh, so the arguments will be less uh, uh, this will lessen the gap between parents and children it will lessen the 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 problems the conflictive situations in the family the wife the woman is going to be having more time for herself and the arguments will be less uh, and less now we move to uh, another topic which is uh, generation gap so underline the bridge the gap you are the advice colonist you are going to write a letter here to advise someone to uh, who seeks help from you uh, you write a reply to a mother to help her bridge the gap with her t two teenage children. Uh, my teenage son and daughter keep asking for more freedom. They often complain that I am authoritarian and overprotective, but I believe that parents should always have control over their children. I am at a loss. Should I be more flexible or continue to be strict with them? Please help Sandra know it. So uh, we advise Sandra to communicate with her children because communication plays an important role in bridging gaps. It takes a lot of effort to understand the younger generation. We have to accept that we lived in a different world, but we have to uh, accept today's times, especially the fact that it's not at all that bad. So uh, to, to bridge the gap between uh, generations, they, both of them should uh, learn how to uh, uh, respect the other, to be respectful. Uh, the parents should be good listeners, listen to the problems of their children, not only giving lectures. Uh, another topic here in um, the, uh, I think it's about uh, the same topic here. You are the editor of a magazine. This time you received a letter from Jackie, a wife who is complaining about her husband. You answer the letter to give Jackie the right advice and help she needs. So this uh, problem between husband and uh, wife uh, this wife is 32 year old she works is in a hospital uh, and then she goes back home very exhausted uh, and then she has to do all the tidying of the uh, washing up uh, dinner dinner cooking look uh, after the kids uh, help them with the homework the husband never helps he's always watching tv and reading newspaper so the selfish here a man doesn't assume his responsibility uh, another topic is um, after an argument with your parents, you decided to spend all the holiday in the house of your uncle or you sneaked out of the house uh, because you think that your parents are conservative and tight-fisted. So you have generation gap on one hand and tight-fisted pocket money on the other. They refuse to let you stay out late and they don't give you enough pocket money. Write a letter to them in which you try to convince them to change their treatment and allow you more freedom. So it's a double uh, here a topic uh, a letter. You talk to your parents to ask for a change of the treatment uh, regarding the money and uh, the treatment. Another topic is uh, uh, Peter here. Peter is going to write a, a reply, an email to express his opinion about uh, the pocket money he gets. So he's going to write a letter of complaint. Make sure that you are going to find in the box below there's a link to uh, uh, how to write uh, a letter of complaint in the website tunites.n. Uh, the topic here is going to be dealing with the last lesson, which is uh, safety at home. You are a journalist and you are going to write an article in your magazine to advise uh, people on how to avoid accidents. Uh, so not to leave uh, children alone with pets. Keep medicines out of children's reach. Not to leave children alone in the kitchen. Not to let children play with small objects that can be swallowed. Electric wires training on the floor. So home accidents are responsible for the death of many people, uh, especially children. There are many things parents must do to avoid these home uh, accidents. Uh, you, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for listening attentively.